Have you ever looked at a game and thought this to yourself? Wow, this is kind of like Dark Souls. If so, you may have encountered what people like to call a Souls-like. But instead of covering the popular ones that you might have already seen, I thought it'd be fun to play Souls-likes that I haven't really seen anyone talk about. If that sounds interesting, here's episode 3 of Steam Dumpster Diving. So I was looking through the comments on my last video and I found this one from Alan George who said I should play Severance Blade of Darkness because it's the grandfather of Dark Souls. And that's a pretty bold claim, but it got my attention. So here's the Steam page for the game, and as you can see, the description says, Experience an exciting single-player adventure in which I prank you, get pranked. And the reason it says that is because this is a fake page I made as a joke. Please laugh. No, but for real, if you want to buy this game, you're unfortunately limited to, like, finding a used copy off Amazon or something. But without further ado, let's find out if Alan is correct. All right, so first things first, you can only walk forward and wherever the camera is looking. Kind of awkward, but, you know, 2001 was a very different time. You're looking at someone that's played Dark Souls PvP before, okay? I know how to spam dodge. Oh! Brutal. I wonder if I can chuck this skull at him. Hold on, let me try again. Oh, I hit him! <laughs> Killed him! You can just pick up a stool? Yo, this is sick! Okay, this game came out in 2001. Why do more games not have, like, this feature of, like, picking up random objects to use as weapons? Legitimately a great feature. Look at this! I don't even need a sword, I'm just gonna use this fucking stool. Oh yeah, you guys want some of this stool? Look how good this is! Look how good that was! <laughs> Wait! Is the stool actually just easy mode? Oh shit, he just broke my shield in half. <laughs> what is the point of blocking then? Okay, well I guess I'm just gonna use this guy's leg as a weapon now. Wonderful. It looks like you guys could really use a hand. Uh oh. Oh shit. Is he gonna get another one? Oh shit! Yeah, I have a stool though. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Block. Okay, okay, this guy's too strong. He's too strong. Wait, did I get him? It's like that one meme where you're just like, peace. How the fuck am I supposed to make it past this? Yo, you maybe don't want to walk there, buddy. Okay. I can just dodge through it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just keep dodging. Keep dodging. Oh, it worked. What? So... Are they just not going off this time? Okay. Maybe I have to like throw my weapon at the switch. Let's try that. I think that worked. Nice. The future is mine. Prepare to join your comrades in hell. Nah. How do you like this move? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's honestly so weird how similar this game is to Dark Souls. Like, I'm genuinely curious if FromSoft played this game or was familiar with this game because it feels like a super early prototype for what would eventually become the Souls series. If you can put up with the jank, I think it's actually a pretty good time. Give it a shot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So funny story, this next game is actually also not on Steam. It's from the Apple App Store. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, uh, let's just do this. Um, getting some strong Bloodborne vibes. Wait, holy shit. <laughs> Wait, this is insanely similar to Bloodborne. <laughs> Wait, we got tentacles? We even got the Lovecraftian element. This is actually Bloodborne. This looks all right. I mean, especially for a mobile game, this is okay. We have a sword and a cane. We got my sword attack and my, my cane attack cannot be open from this side. Hold on, did I read that right? It's a Souls-like game. Confirmed. Confirmed. Interesting, so you lose your sanity over time? Weird mechanic. Kinda neat. What the fuck is this thing? Hedgy? Ah, oh, god, I hate this thing. It's so ugly. You're welcome. How's everything over there? 
How's everything over there? It's an omen that the Colossus is preparing for its journey to the grave. Bro, I can't handle this guy's voice. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? The giant egg feels your steps and trembles. Somebody here? Help! I'm trapped in this egg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a gamer. So we got a little skill tree. It's kind of cool. Did I get him? When combating a boss, if a character loses all of their sanity, they enter into the state of lunatic. All right. Oh, wait, I wonder if this is actually telling me that there's four playable characters? Because if that's the case, that's kind of neat. Oh shit, I gotta get out of here, dude. Oh, fuck. Yo, okay. Okay. I can punch. I can swing this coffin around. That's pretty cool, honestly. Cool weapon idea. I wish Bloodborne had that. Norwood can only fight with coffin shackle when he has griminess and gathers rage. He can only use his coffin if he's grimy enough. Yeah, me too, man. If I'm not like extra grimy, it's just not happening. Oh, no, 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 no. I can block it. It's really hard to overstate just how clunky the controls feel. Wait for it to come back. I'm just plunging. Oh! oh. <laughs> Are you joking? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! <laughs> Incredible. Incredible enemy design, honestly. I'm not, I'm not even joking. This is fucking great. All right, so Pascal's Wager. It's ripping off Bloodborne and Dark Souls a little more blatantly than most games, which I'm not a fan of. And the controls are just not good, especially on a touchscreen. I, I gotta give it a little bit of credit at least that like it's a mobile game that doesn't have, as far as I can tell, any in-app purchases and like you just buy the game. That's pretty rare to see on the app store these days. I personally wouldn't recommend this game, but like you can do a lot worse. All right, so next we got Gangsta Woman. I'm pretty sure we all know what kind of game this is gonna be, but uh, let's just experience it together, you know? Let's see. All right, Gangsta Woman. We have level one, two, three, four, five, six. So might as well do level one. Here she is. Let's uh, let's test out power attack. <laughs> you can change your character mid game with this thing. Oh my God. So I don't think the enemies actually even attack. Is he gonna fall over? Okay. <laughs> what? What just happened? I died? Hit him with the power attack. Yeah, okay, that killed me, why? Nice and easy, don't press any buttons. Wow, this area is really big. Oh, wait. <laughs> Found a dragon. Evil dragon. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> he can't get me here. Whoa. Where, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I've beaten every Dark Souls game. I can beat Gangsta Woman. I can do this. Okay, let's try out level two. Maybe level two is a little better. I don't think there's any enemies other than the zombie with the sword. I think that's all we're gonna get. I, can you turn down the lens flare, JJ Abrams? Holy shit. Might as well do level three, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Oh wow, this does not run well. Getting a solid 15 frames per second. Okay, I'm ready, dragon. Round three. Here we go, here we go. Yes! I did it.
All right, next up we got Nose. This game is not on Steam, and I found it thanks to a comment someone left linking it to me. It's on a website called Frame, which I've never heard of, but as far as I can tell, it's kind of like the Japanese version of itch.io maybe. As I scroll down, you can see that it's all in Japanese, the details about this game. So let's do the old translate. Hope that works. Full-fledged 3D action RPG inspired by the Dark Souls series. There we go. Yeah, this is just a free download, so let's check it out. English localization is in progress, hopefully available in summer of 2018. I hope so too. So we have Sword Guy, Axe Guy, Mace Guy, and Naked Guy. Um, I'm just gonna go with Sword Guy. I'm honestly super down. I'm super down with this uh, this art style that they got going. Something about it is like making me kind of nostalgic for like the PS2 N64 era a little bit. You can't hit what you can't see. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what the sign says, but the fact that it's in red text it's probably means it's like something really bad ahead. So naturally, I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go kick that thing's ass. All right, you know what? On second thought, I don't need to kick this thing's ass. <laughs> really cute. This is a really cute bonfire. Probably the cutest bonfire I've seen in any of these games. Are these noses? It's like weird black rock noses. Do you guys see this? Wait, I, I just realized. Seeing this, I just realized. The name of this game is Nose. Let's go for a parry. Oh, I got it. Oh, what is this pose he's doing? He's just like... A almost a T pose, not quite. Oh shit, is that new armor set? This is the most pathetic roll I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh hell yes! Hell yes! <laughs> this game is amazing. Um I see HP 30%. I'm gonna guess, go out on a limb. The fact that I see HP 30% plus the fact that it's blue, I'm gonna guess this is the blue tier stone ring. Man, dude, this game has like a stupid amount of charm. Oh, this guy. This guy fucks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot how bad my roll was. <laughs> One arm Cyclops. Ugh. Oh, man, I'm getting comboed with the fucking hell. I, I can't get up. <laughs> I actually just got comboed to death. What the fuck? Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to the light armor. Wait, this animation. Th this is so Dark Souls 1. I love it. Victory achieved. <laughs> yes! They said the line. <gasps> Wait, did I get the nose hammer? Yes. 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 I'm so happy right now. Is this? It's a nose bell. Ring the nose bell. I did it. I ring the nose bell. <laughs> Who would think of this? I gotta stop playing. I don't wanna spoil this whole game. Some games just have like a lot of charm and this is one of those games. This game is like surprisingly very competent and like fun to play. Yeah, I gotta recommend it. I don't wanna spoil the whole game. This game is cute as hell. So another pretty weird one for the series, but it looked interesting. It's another game from 2001, believe it or not and it's called Rune Classic. A lot of people said I should play it and I'm always interested in like looking at these really old games, kind of getting a sense of like gaming history or whatever but uh yeah could be cool let's check it out you must face me oh shit you can throw your weapons hold up <laughs> this is how i win oh it's actually stuck in his chest holy shit oh i got him
What? Did I just... What did I just do? I just, like, ripped a lizard off the wall and ate it. Can I eat this one? Yo, this is metal as fuck. Yo, dude, what a what a great mechanic. Instead of, like, using an Estus Flask, just find lizards and eat them. More games need this feature. Oh, no. What the... What just happened? Oh, fuck, floating crab. Floating crab. Oh, shit, dude. You can just dismember them. Did I just pick up his arm as a weapon? Yo, die, skeleton. Are we- are we chill? Are we chill? I think we're chill. See how you're- you're like aggro as fuck, but look at your friend. Your friend's chill. Oh! Wait, don't do it. Can he actually kill his teammates? Is there friendly for him? Oh my god! Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> you know, for 2001, it's not bad. Um, around where I stopped, you know, like an hour and a half in, the game kind of devolved into a lot of running around, trying to find the right lever to pull in a bunch of similar looking hallways. So it started to wear a little thin at that point. But you know, if you like chopping dudes heads off, it could be fun. Uh, next up we got Blade and Bones. It says it's a combat-driven Metroidvania experience. I like Metroidvanias. I like combat. Let's try it. From his tears, the land of Asocrack was created. The land of Asocrack? The land of Asscrack. This is kind of cool. I like this idea of, like, having the, the menu UI, like, on your character. Just the camera moves around. Cool idea. Mm. I can already tell this feels pretty, pretty off. But we're gonna stick with it. Oh, this game's description says it's open world, so I guess I can just go wherever. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> within within five seconds, I've already hit my first invisible wall. This combat does not feel good. It's it's hard to describe. Is there another guy? Hello? <laughs> Fucking Doctor Who just showed up and just died. What was that? <laughs> Apparently there's a gun you can unlock at some point. I'm looking forward to just unlocking a gun. Oh, fuck. Hello. Oh. There we go. Purity lost. If you lose all purities, your save data will be erased. What? If you die too many times, this game deletes your save data. <laughs> Why? Hello, sir. Nothing matters. You said it, man. Oh, Doctor Who, look out. Oh, Doctor... Why is there friendly fire? What? Why? What was the point in making this game open world? It's like... It's 95% just, like, empty. Hi, my friend. <gasps> Wait, he has the gun. Did I get the gun relic? I got it. The gun of the famous gunslinger. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh fuck, hold on. Hold on, I want to make a joke, but it's night. Just give me, give me a second, give me a second. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. It's high noon. Let's fight then. Oh, I was kind of... I was kind of hoping that would just kill you. What? what? <laughs> No, Doctor Who! Oh shit, I thought you were an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand this game. Um, you basically just wander around an empty map and occasionally fight a couple guys here and there. But like, the combat, it's like nothing. It's kind of like eating a, just a piece of bread. Yeah, I, I can't, I cannot recommend this one at all, unfortunately. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said in the last one, these videos have been incredibly fun to make and the response you guys have been giving them has been so, so encouraging. So thank you for real. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Stay safe.